What's up, YouTube? Uh, down here in Greensboro, Georgia, getting loaded. Big ass aluminum ingot. I ain't loaded one of these in probably two years. These big son bitches, if I remember right, 52, 53,000 pounds. You got to get a 90,000 pound permit to haul the fuckers. It pays decent though, I guess, going up to Kentucky. But, uh, fitting to get loaded now, chain it down and strap it down and talk about some shit. We'll see y'all in a minute. You know, a couple people been asking me, uh, what do you think about the whole John Finnich? Or I mean, John Finnich. Fuck you, John Finnich. There's another, there's another topic of discussion here in a minute. Uh, people's been asking me, what do you think of the whole, uh... What do you think of the whole Willie and Junebug thing? Shit, man. I don't know. I guess I've learned two things regarding Willie and Larry. Number one, if Larry says he's coming for you, he's coming for you. <laughs> and number two, Willie will fucking cut you. <laughs> That's two things I've learned for sure. I, I've heard, uh, you know, that was a bitch move on Larry to stand, or damn it, I'm just getting all fucked up. I've heard some say that it was a bitch move on Willie to stab him. I really don't know, man. I don't, cause you gotta think about one thing, okay? Picture, if you will, a dude from YouTube comes 1,450 miles to your damn house. He's in an alleyway in the dark, hollering, hey, motherfucker, come over here. We well, already know, number one, the motherfucker's about half crazy because he made the trip to come and bring something to you, you know? You don't know what he had in his hand. And I'm not just saying you, Larry, I'm saying anybody in this situation, okay? And Willie was home, Willie's wife was there. I mean, I gotta be honest with you. 
A motherfucker try that shit up on my house? I ain't worried about no fighting fair. Not a bit. I'm gonna fight to win and beat your damn ass. You know? So, I guess when I really sit down and think about it, I, I can't honestly put Willie down for doing what he done. I mean, I hate to see that the whole damn thing happened, to be quite honest with you. I hate to see that happen, but some crazy shit, man. Crazy. Let me get some of these chains thrown across this shit, man. I'll be back. Uh, back to uh, what I slipped up on a while ago. Uh, a slip of the tongue. John Finney. I seen you last night, bitch boy, on your little live feed. Running your motherfucking mouth. Just like you always do. That's what you're good for. That's all you're good for, is to run that motherfucking mouth you got. You done had. You talking all that shit on me last night, like you always have been. No big deal. And I could give two fucks less. But see, here's the thing that you obviously fail to uh, remember, Vodka John. Oh, and by the way, uh, wait a minute, I got sidetracked. I hate it when that happens. Uh, Here's what you failed to remember, Vodka John. You had two chances, bitch boy. You had two chances to meet with me. The first time you wouldn't answer your damn phone. I was a calling and a texting and a calling and a texting. You wouldn't reply, you wouldn't answer. I was strolling down 75 on the way to uh, Lakeland. Yes. That was the first time. The second time, several weeks later, I literally, and it's still in my YouTube channel, however many months back, I literally gave you a good 12 hours heads up where I was going in Lakeland. I showed my bill of laden on the fucking glass here. You had 12 hours, John, to drive from St. Pete up to Tampa. And, and, and put your money where your mouth was. No show. No show. So, John, you can talk all the shit you want about me on YouTube. It don't bother me, dude. It really don't. But I, I just wanted to re-emphasize the point that you have proven. You have proven you're a bitch twice you've proven that you're a bitch two times and you're nothing but mouth man you're nothing but mouth and you made the comment last night you done filled out 187 job applications you let me get my damn cheater bar you done filled out 187 job applications yeah, y'all see here? This motherfucker weighs 54,945 pounds. Big ass rectangle block of uh, aluminum. But John, you, like I said, you done proven you a little cunt boy, dude. So, I ain't gonna run my mouth on you no more. Believe me. I got a lot more important shit going on in my life, dude, than to keep fucking with your stupid, pathetic, fucking alcoholic ass. Just remember, Vodka John, you had two chances to fucking put your money where your mouth was, and you bitched out twice, pussy boy. Uh, this bitch talking about 
Just get talking about he's done filled out 187 job applications. But yet, one lonely little company, one lonely little company out of Chicago is not only going to hire this piece of shit, they're going to put him in a brand new truck pay this worthless piece of shit, according to him, $2,000 a week. To pull hazmat. <laughs> you stupid motherfucker, nobody don't believe that shit. I'll believe it when I see it. Prove me wrong, Vodka John, bitch boy, St. Petersburg pussy. Prove me wrong. Make a video in your truck that you're supposed to be on the way to Indiana to get. Prove me and the countless others wrong, fuck boy. Punk ass bitch. And you know the sad thing of it all, the sad thing of it all, the one who I really feel sorry for is his mama, John's mama. I don't feel sorry for John. That worthless piece of shit has made his decisions in life, and you see where that got him. But I truly do, in all sincerity, ah, come on, bitch. Ah. In all sincerity, I truly feel sorry for his mother. I really do. Can you imagine what it must be like to know your son is pushing 50 years old and is a fucking toothless, jobless drunk? You sad piece of shit, man. Fuck you, John. Bitch boy, you want to talk your shit? And see, I'm done with all these that, oh man, he's got a problem, man. He's really got, yeah, he does have a problem. He does have a problem. He's a piece of shit drunk. That's what his problem is. Me, Hensley, God, who else was it? Me, Hensley, Team Tiny, uh, Willie, big a-hole, we all, all five of us, man, legitimately tried to help this fool a couple months ago. Legitimately, man. He ain't want no help. He ain't want no help. And that's when I washed my hands of him. So, you other people can be Woe is me with little John Finch and feel bad for him and he's really got a problem and this, that, and the other. He can fuck off and, and disappear for all I care. But but you remember that, John. You remember that the next time you drunk and running your dick suckers about me, okay? Talking all that shit. Just remember, you had two chances to put your money where your mouth was and you bitched out. Don't forget that, man. Pussy. All right. I got all my shit together here. Got my little excess chain. Nice and bungee down so that shit won't be flopping everywhere. Time to stretch out and get a nap, man. Shit. Uh, yeah, John, I'm not, don't, don't misunderstand what I'm saying here. I'm not threatening your little bitch ass or nothing. I'm just letting you know. I'm just letting your ass know. Don't forget, you had two chances. I know you like to run that damn gator you got. You had two chances, fuck face. 
Put that truck on the glass, whore. Put that, look at that. Gargantuan, motherfucker. Gargantuan country time. Put that Peterbilt on the glass, John. Cause we wanna see it. Cause I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm the first one to think you full of shit. I call you a lying bitch right here. Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong and I'll stand at the position of correction. Y'all have a good night. I'm your life. I'm the one who took you there. Yeah. I'm your life and I no longer care.